Is this too close? Please ignore my missing floating shelf. I knocked it off the wall. My dad will be back to fix it. But um, you're only seeing my upper head. This little thing is confused me, but you're seeing top of my head because this is after this video. I don't want to just spoil everything. Um, but anyway, there was an occurrence. <laughs> this is so stupid. There was an occurrence with this laser appointment. I'm fixing my glasses now, I'm trying to show my nails. There was an occurrence with this laser appointment and I thought it was funny and I didn't want the footage to go to waste. It's filmed on my phone, so you should know how that kind of went because who am I to ever film something on my phone unless it's the most convenient thing to do I decided to leave both in because y'all find it funny when I'm dramatic and or mess something up which is exactly what I did here and you get both so you're gonna have that if you don't want to see that many Aaliyah antics in one go round I understand so you can skip to the timestamp that's on the screen for the actual appointment that I actually like get it done so with that being said um let's start the video I hope you guys are excited because I know I am I look disgusting. Hi, people of the internet. It's currently a Tuesday. I don't know what day it is, but today we're starting my vacation prep and we're starting off with the big one because why am I about to go get my laser for the first time in over a year and a half? Oh my God, why did they look like that? <laughs> so we're really not having a good time this morning just because um, I don't mind laser. The I went back to laser like the first, for the first time in like a year and a half, like, mm, last week and i got my legs and underarms done and those are usually light work but for some reason they weren't feeling too much like light work not that they hurt or anything but it just wasn't fun i mean laser isn't fun i'll do this over waxing any day i need to find some socks leave it to me like what is okay whatever it's fine we're heading out I think it's like close to 10. I need to get some socks and some shoes that I can slip on. This is my little laser outfit because I'm literally gonna be sitting butterfly in the chair. Like, apparently this is only like a 20 minute type of session, which shouldn't take long. Um, I might take some Tylenol or ashwagandha before I go. It was serious. Like, it's serious. Yeah. <laughs> I texted him this morning to reschedule, forgetting that I texted him like on a whim. So they had canceled it. So I get to come back at one today. So I get some time to chill out, chill the f out and come back. Okay, that's nice, we'll be back later. <laughs> we'll come back and get you. Okay, thank you. I must get changed. My slang. Oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have a good one. I wanted to do a little uh, debriefing because I used to get laser so. Cons I don't know why this is so dark. Like I, I really don't know why, y'all. I'm so sorry, but I'm here to debrief. So I've been. I started laser back in like 2021, and I did it so consistently. And when I tell you, I took like a year off involuntarily because time just flew, and the next thing you know, it's been a year since I went. But progressively, it gets a little bit like spicier. <laughs> like in pain that's what they like to say because they have to up the laser every time because you know that's just how it works out of the three areas i get i get underarm breasts and then which is brazilian and then legs my least painful is definitely my legs my second least painful is my underarms and of course my most painful is my and when it's 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 really crazy because the closer they get to like the center of it the more it hurts which is normal but the question is, do I want to endure that pain on myself? Because something else um, was out while well, I was getting it done. I didn't film it. But she was asking, like, you haven't been here in a while. Like, have you noticed a difference in, like, hair growth? I'm like, yeah, I've been here in, like, a year. And I noticed that when hair grows back, it takes forever. And when it does, it's thin as shit. I don't think y'all realize my hair does not grow back like at its normal pace like it takes a month month and a half for me to even like be able to pinch a clump of hair compared to like normal growth which is like the bush gonna come back in a week you know so i love the fact that hair does not grow back as fast and since i took a year off i've noticed the difference like my hair is so much thinner i honestly love it it's just the pain that it takes is just so annoying when i tell you i wasn't even in that room for like 20 minutes miss rn said if i'm going too fast let me know and i'll slow down i said no the faster the better like go ahead get it over with sometimes i just want to tell them start on the inner part of that <laughs> and move your way out instead of the other way in because they'll go from like hip to hip and it's just like oh when she getting close to the top of that i'm like oh my god please like oh and i'm so glad they give you shade so that you can't see like my eyes like 
<laughs> so later that afternoon i decided like spur of the moment i'm gonna get my toes done and my nails soaked off because they just needed to be done i had no other time to do it but i don't remember me not explaining that I could have sworn I did, but this is just me doing that. That's what we're doing here. I don't know what's up with this video. It's very choppy, so I'm gonna be filling in a lot of things. But yeah, here's me getting my toes and my nails soaked off. So yeah, we're done. So that took a lot longer than I honestly thought it was going to. I've never had an acrylic soak off before because I've only ever had like dip gel. I mean, I've only ever had like SNS dip. Um, so I never had to get acrylic soaked off, but that single-handedly process made me never want to get it again. Um, it just takes so long. I'm just so used to it not, like, I'm just so used to the nail process, like, not taking long. Um, but that, no joke. The time is currently 5.00. 39. I'm glad I went when I did because I literally don't have time to do it any other time this week. For my pedicure, I got a smoothing pedicure that was 31, gel polish was the ad. That was 15. Then the takeoff, the soak off was only 10. Is that normal? I don't know, but I tipped $25 because, hello? Yeah, I did my appointments for today. I'm glad. I feel like we're like a third of the way there. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you because I split this up in a three days and the way that I never made time to like get my nails soaked off. So me doing this today actually ended up falling perfectly. Something I do need to do like today or tomorrow and start making my outfits. I have clothes at home, okay? Don't bark at me. But I feel like Jamaica is just one of those places because the resort we're staying at is all inclusive. So like, I don't really need to overthink outfits or anything like that. I'm sorry the lighting is bad. Since the resort is all inclusive, um, I don't feel like we're gonna be leaving it very much. And if we are, it's gonna be for an excursion, AKA to do some fun. So I feel like outfits are kind of, not on the back burner, but kind of on the back burner. Ignore how crusty this looks, but guys, oh my god, y'all, ah, I'm never gonna stop smiling. <laughs> um, I went to Platinum 2 Gyms and Whitening, 10 out of 10 experience. I was in and out of there in 40 minutes. I just can't eat or drink anything for the next hour. I am so happy with how this came out. It's just so subtle, like, I love subtle details about someone's face and I feel like it just adds so much. So if you're ever in Charlotte, definitely check out Platinum. It was such an easy experience. Went in, said what I wanted, got it done, and that was it. Since I got out a lot earlier than I thought I was, I'm actually about to run to my camera store that I like to go to. I need to pick up my negatives from my grad film that I have. And then I'm gonna head to Zarya's nail place to get my nails done. I'm a firm believer that you should in fact keep all your negatives if you can. Yeah, cause you know, they're just really good to have. I wanna start making photo albums and scrapbooking and everything. So I think this would be a nice little start. You feel me? Um, and then my negatives are right here. So film developed, printed, and my negatives kept for 20 bucks. And they took less than 24 hours to do it. And that was when they were busy. Y'all are doing the damn thing. I know that for sure. Daria just did my nails in an hour and a half, maybe like an hour and 40. Are these not so cute? Instead of going medium, cause I can't personally function with long nails, I went short. And I think the short version of this is so adorable. 
adorable like oh i literally can't stop looking at them like they're they're perfect they're the perfect length they're the perfect style they're the perfect design wise and they're just so cute so if you ever wonder for when i do get my nails consistently done which i'm about to start again because i feel like my hands deserve to look pretty as well as my toes and my hair go to zarya get glam by z because i've been going to her since i remember since i started getting my nails done um and the one time i switched up and got that acrylic for graduation i regretted it so i'm very 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 happy with my nails right now like they're so perfect it's currently 2 11 so it's not that late in the day. I do need to get gas and then I am hungry. So I think I want to get some Bojangles. So I think I'm going to get gas and then grab some late lunch um, so I can eat. I haven't eaten since Chick-fil-A this morning. I just feel very cute. Tomorrow when I get my hair done, I do not want this many edges out because Lord knows I do not know how to do these. As I'm importing this footage for this video, I was supposed to have ready on Monday, but I'm just now filming. Let me give you a recap about what I did this afternoon, shall we? I got home around 3.30. Why? I was borderline, not completely, because that is not what happened. I was borderline, let me move this camera. Do we like this angle better? I think it's fun. Okay, tell me why on the way home today. I was borderline falling asleep. I don't know what the hell was put into that bojangles but when i tell you i couldn't even wait till i got home so i busted that two-piece chicken leg meal with double fries on the side and that biscuit down in my car girl oh my god i have not got the itis like that in so long quite frankly i've never got the itis like that in any other time out of the year except like christmas or like thanksgiving i usually i don't want to say a speed demon but i am not the i usually do not go the speed limit that's what I'm gonna say because I'm following the flow of traffic. When I noticed that I was going the speed limit slash five under, I was like, okay. Me coming home is like a blur. Like, it's not that I don't remember it because I do, but I was just so sleepy to the point where I don't wanna say I kept zoning out, but I kept zoning out. Like, I haven't been that tired in so long. So I came home, I took a wonderful, I'm gonna say two hour nap, and I was rejuvenated enough to film this integration for the sponsor, and I'm gonna send the integration over today and hopefully finish the video between today or tomorrow i need them to approve this by like tomorrow like they can improve they can approve the integration da, da, da. because for some reason i just am not feeling this video like editing wise i don't know what my problem is yeah i don't know what it is i'm just really not feeling this video i don't know what my problem is so i'm sitting here at my computer i'm gonna do the integration and then i need to film the intro and then i'm gonna add graphics and music today because that's pretty much the last thing i have to do because everything is rough cutted i didn't make this video much like too long this video is only 23 minutes already um without like the integration this is gonna be the first trip that i take where i do not bring my computer because i haven't taken like a vacation vacation in a extremely long time so i just need to do that and here we are so any computer work needs to be done by tomorrow night because friday morning i'm not checking my computer the most i'm gonna do is schedule the video on my phone because lord have mercy i just i i, I can't like
is done. Nice! Look at my locks! Are these not so well done? Look at the parts. Come on, parts. They're a little stiff, but so is every single thing of locks when you get them. So, I kid you not, it's 5.46 p.m. I just got home not long ago. My boyfriend got kava for me, and I'm back at home. I have so much to do tonight. I might scream. We have a lot to do tonight in such very little time. I have to pack, I have to clean, I have to shave my face, I have to whiten my teeth. And then here goes my boyfriend, who's just getting a little itty bitty haircut. Um, oh, to be a man going on vacation. <laughs> While we're here, let's just walk through it. So we're gonna be there for six days. I was always raised to where you bring double the amount of undergarments of days that you're traveling. So if you're gonna be somewhere for five days, bring 10 pairs of underwear, maybe even 15. So either way, I'm going through a few pairs. Also, I got all new underwear. Um, Like I kid you not, I bought enough to wear. It fills up my entire drawer and my underwear actually fit now because apparently my butt got big. This is very much a sandals trip, but I'm still gonna bring some socks. I think all my socks are dirty. So we're gonna come back to that. Bras, most of my bras are in fact dirty, but I think I'm gonna be living in a bikini for most of these days. So I'm just gonna grab a few random pairs. in my laundry room because we're about to do some laundry, but I got two bathing suits from Aerie in the mail that I forgot to show y'all. Let me show you real quick. Ugh. One is this underwire top with this stringy red bottom. They're both like lined with white. And the other is just a regular, like same style, but it's both triangle pieces. So there's that. And then I don't know, how this got left in here. You left the hygiene cooch sticker in here. I have these three bathing suits, the two in the washer. I'm gonna toss those in right now. And then I'm just gonna wash a bunch of clothes. And then I'll try to make some outfits later because it's kind of impossible for me personally to make outfits when, oh my God, this is so loud. Can we stop it? Two seconds. Sorry, I didn't think to turn my dryer off. But, so I'm gonna get anything that I don't need to like particularly have right now. So like, I'm just getting the stuff that like, I don't wanna say doesn't matter, but the smaller stuff. So like, I can make my outfits and stuff later. I've definitely gotten in the habit of not buying new clothes for every trip. After a while, like, you just come to realize you don't need to be doing that like it's over consumption and nine times out of ten you're never gonna wear that shit again i'm putting these clothes in here it looks like it's probably gonna be about two more loads after this of clothes um and then i'll be able to make my outfits but i'm gonna focus on sleepwear and stuff to wear on the hotel in the meantime i recently bought a um whatchamacallit what is that skims a skims bathing suit but my current problem is I don't know if it's going to fit because I got them in a size small. I'm gonna bring it anyway. So I'm probably bringing six bathing suits if I can count, um, which I think is good because something tells me either I'm gonna be in that beach or that pool or at an excursion at least once a day. Show me haircut. Oh my God. We're officially about to pack. About well, okay, this is what happened. We were doing so good. We did the laundry. Like, we was putting clothes away, whatever. I got about half my clothes, I would say, ready. I'm just waiting for my bathing suits now. I have, like, half of my outfits. I have lounge wrap stuff to sleep in. All good to go. The question is, how we're gonna pack this up? We're only taking one checked bag, so anything that's heavy, like shoes or anything, is probably gonna go on there. And then we're gonna have this tiny suitcase that I'm gonna carry, and then I'm gonna have a second carry-on so we can get our passport. And then it turns out this brand is not answering. They did not give me an answer on the video today. So I made a promise to my significant other that if I bring my computer, it's only to deal with this one video because I have to post on Sunday. Um, and it's kind of not my fault. They didn't answer. So I'm bringing it, but only to deal with that. And I'm probably going to deal with it at the airport or in the room. So we need to start packing up, which is what we're about to do. I think what we decided to do was put the stuff that we're gonna use tomorrow, like clothes wise in here. And then also if our bag is lost, that gives us backup clothes. So we're not like waiting for it to get there, if that makes sense. And then, um, yeah, so we're gonna put whatever we're wearing at the resort tomorrow. Cause I think tomorrow we're just going to the beach pool. I started doing toiletries. I got a new makeup bag from Amazon. It's actually very cute, but this is packed. Like she's, she's busting. Yeah, we need to do our toiletries, but I think we're both about to shower. I don't plan on showering tomorrow morning. So I need to get my clothes out for tomorrow. He needs to get his clothes out for tomorrow. 
we both need a shower and then after we shower i think we can do our hygiene stuff and just put everything away except like toothbrushes and shit like that and then yeah i have like two more outfits i want to grab that i have in mind um and then my shoes so i was over here stressing all day like oh my god like we're not gonna be able to get it done we're gonna get this shit done one way or another come to you with good news the time is currently probably almost midnight it's 11 40 and the packing is like 90 percent done the only reason it's at 90 sorry i look crazy i'm just kind of talking to move around the only reason it's at 90 is because i have to put my bikinis in the big suitcase so we have some mini updates so instead of the smaller suitcases like we originally thought and then like three carry-ons we're just gonna take one big and just share because it just doesn't make sense to spread all this stuff out into like five million different bags and the bag is barely touching 20 pounds like i measured it and it's at 17 before my bathing suits and our liquids so it doesn't make any sense the heaviest stuff in here is in fact my boyfriend's sweatpants for like loungewear when we're around not really doing anything the stuff is barely like going over the edge so i'm currently putting in the final stuff i want to go get my last bathing suit off the dryer and I've been on the fence about bringing this one because it just looks a little too, like, kiddish for me. I open the dryer. I'm like, okay, cool, let's get my stuff. I take them out. They're all bunched up. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I take this one out. I'm like, okay, here's the bottoms. Great. Now where's the top? I get in this dryer. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. You see me looking around? Looking around. Looking around. I see the print. I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. Why did I pull just this out? What the hell is this? I immediately just put it back in the dryer, shut it, and went about my business. I have five bathing suits. I feel like I should bring one extra one, and it currently just finished washing in the washing machine, and I think I'm gonna bring it. It's the one that I got from Abercrombie if you watched my grad vlog, my weekly grad vlog. My eyebrows look really good today. That bathing suit from Hollister, but everything is pretty much packed. The room is a show. Let me show you right now. Um, What the f happened to this room? The mattress on the floor really just ties it together you know we're basically done with the bag the only thing that we have to do is in fact hygiene stuff and then the big bag is done like everything else just gonna be thrown within our two carry-ons and the carry-ons really just have like shoes that we don't really need to take out we're not putting any liquids in there because absolutely not me and my boyfriend dream team when it comes to traveling he's just so calm and cool he's in the shower right now but he's just so calm and cool and collected and like me seeing him be calm cool and collected as somebody who gets frazzled and nervous really easily like I need that and he made me go from really stressed to not stressed at all and i'm feeling good about where we're at I'm not worried about the suitcase i'm not worried about getting there tomorrow really nothing the last couple things that we will be adding to the bag include hygiene and then well the stuff the shower stuff and then tomorrow it's really just going to be toothbrushes toothpaste mouthwash and stuff like that and then we're gonna be done very proud of how fast this went because like laura knows i'm a stress packer like i overpacked but because most of it is like summer clothes and summer clothes are not existent <laughs> it just made it really easy because everything matches and everything like that not gonna go over what i brought you're not gonna have to see the next video still don't know if i'm gonna do a full week or just a whatchamacallit few days in my life in jamaica but we shall see. We still have to clean. I don't know how deep I'm gonna clean, but definitely this will be like picked up in the bathroom as well. I'm not really like too worried about common areas like the kitchen, dining room, cause it's not like it gets dirty anyway. I still have to pack cashew stuff. I have to shave my face, nose, hairs, whiten my teeth, um, and then clean up and then shower and pack up the last few hygiene needs. But I feel like we're getting like close to the end. Like considering how frowsed I was earlier, I don't know, I had some time with my family, my cousin my niece slash cousin i needed it and it calmed me down a lot so here we are in the home stretch i'm so excited to be done though i hate packing i can't put my finger on what i'm forgetting to put in here because i almost forgot makeup wipes hello i have primer i have my lash adhesive i have chapstick i have blush concealer lash remover more chapstick more blush skin tint edge control my spf i have skincare stuff in here I don't have a edge brush. That's what it is. Oh my goodness, that would have been horrible. Do I have my brow brush? Mm -hmm. 